Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at converting your node application into an executable file. Now we're going to be using a package called PKG, which is going to package your node application into an executable, which you can run on Mac, Linux, Windows, and FreeBSD. Now to install this, you're just going to do npm g and then PKG and press enter. And once you have installed that, then you can take your node application and convert it to an executable. Now, the file that I have right here is just one file. It's called main.js and it just has one line, hello world. Now, to take this and convert this to an executable, all you have to do is do pkg, then the file name and press enter. Now, you can see over here that it has generated three files. Now, if we open the folder here for it, you can see this is a macOS file, this is a Linux file, and this is a executable. I'm on Windows, so I can only show you the Windows executable. Now, if I run this, you can see that it just instantly closes. And this is because it's a console application. So on Windows, you can open CMD by just typing CMD up there, and let's run the application. There you go, and let's press enter. And you can see that we get the message hello world. Let's take a look at a more advanced example than just an hello world program. Now, right here, I have an express application. All it does is just it hosts images from this images folder, which just has one image. Then it just on the default route, it just shows hello world and then an image under that. And how that looks is we can just quickly see that by just running the application here. If we now open a web browser and navigate to that address, you can see that the application just looks like this. Hello world and the image under that. Now let's convert this to an exe. So like before, we do pkg and the name. And if we now open our folder here, you can see that we now have all of these files. Now let's try running this exe file. And we'll have to enable that. Now you can see that the application runs, and if we now access our server here, you can see that the server runs. And no, the server does not run in here anymore. It does run in here, and if I close this and try to refresh the site, you can see that the site is down. Now, let's say you don't want to build for both Linux, Mac, and Windows, and you just want to build for Windows. Well, that is also pretty easy. So if you open our folder here, you can actually type your normal command and then you do dash dash targets and then you specify the node version. So here I've specified 12, but you could have written eight as well. Here you will write the OS version and you can read up on what all these are named on their GitHub page. I'll include that down below. And here you can also write Linux, Mac OS, and all of the other supported operating systems. And here you just type the architecture. So if it's going to be 32-bit or 64-bit. And then we can press enter. But let's remember to just delete these first. So if we press delete here, you can see we have no executables. And if we now press enter and open our folder here, you can see that we only have one executable and it's just called main.exe. And this runs like before. And if you now open the website, you can see that it now runs again. Now, there's another command I want to show you. I can't currently get it to work because one problem is that if you remove the exe here away from this images folder, it won't be able to host the images. Now, supposedly PKG has a way of like bundling this together in the executable, but that does currently not work for me. So you can either pass it in as this command here or which is actually something they say on their docs, you can pass it in the package.json. And the way you would do that is like this. So the code here first is the package name here. So you would just put that in the root of whatever your package.json is. So you put that in your package.json, then it has a property called asset, and then you specify whatever packages it should include, so in my case, it would be images. And down here, you can also specify the node version, so you can say 12 or, or 8 as it's set. This 
does not work for me. It won't build it with version 8 and it does not package the files. So that's one issue I have with it. But other than that, as long as you have these two files here, so the folder here and the exe here, it really works fine. And obviously you could create some kind of installer that installs both of these files together and make sure that they're always together. Now that was all for today. I hope you learned something and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.